<laughs> hey, what's up, Vancouver? Woo! Big E! From Big E TV, we got Maddie back there. She was my countdown girl. Thank you so much, girl. All right, all right. We got a full show today. Wellness Wednesday, everybody. First day of August. <laughs> All right, we got some excited people in the house, as they should be, because I am friggin' stoked! I'm in the heart of Kitsilano, I'm at my favorite place, Whole Foods. I'm gonna keep my voice down, I don't want to disturb anybody, but I just, I, I, like, I get excited when I get on there. Okay, okay, hang on folks, There's a, it's crazy, the um, amount of wind coming down here, so I gotta get my bearings. Where are we? May 29th, that's not where we are. Oh my goodness, we've completely lost our track of where we are. So Maddie, what's your story? Are you a, are you a Facebooker? Oh yeah. Yeah? Are you a Facebooker? I am, I am. Hard to believe, eh? Middle-aged guy like me, young looking fella like me. What are you, uh, <laughs> doing on your little... So today is a Wellness Wednesday. And if I can find my notes, I will talk about things that matter in health and wellness, you know? So more energy, more vitality. Uh, look good, feel good, those are interconnected, you know, um, um, being at work, at home, at play, um, living, loving, making a difference in this world, all of these things. But today is a very special topic, actually. Ah, I got it. Okay, okay, you ready? Let's, let's, okay, cut, 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 let's start over again. All right, here we go. Hey, 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 Big E here from Big E TV. And today is the first day of August, folks. Wellness Wednesday, August the 1st, and our top story. <laughs> hey, Myra, what's happening in the Philippines? Woo, well, you would like to be here right now. It's a balmy 26 degrees in the shade. I'm at my favorite Whole Foods, um, and we are talking about things that matter because Big E TV, powered by values. So uh, I was out and about Kitts Beach for a few hours there. Of course, we get the fireworks tonight. Gail Sparrow um, would be a remiss, would have my hide. If I didn't remind you, we have the fireworks going on tonight. I have no idea. Do you know who the fireworks are tonight? Is it um, Mexico or something? <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're fireworks, you know. I don't really get caught up in the competition of it all. But it is fun to see all that energy down here, all, uh, um, all of these people from all different walks of life. Um, Maybe I'll run into Tim Stevenson down on the West End there, English Bay. Tim, what a fantastic Tim has been. Tim, St Tim Stevenson has been doing there in the uh, West End, just like my grandma did. And my father certainly uh, ran uh, Vancouver Central way back in the 60s. Ended up not being successful, but later on being a two-term member of parliament there, Kootenai West. Uh, shout out to the Kootenays. Woo! Okay. All right. Well, um, today for our MTDJ, our meaty topic du jour, um, as you might have saw my pro... Uh, promo today we're going to be asked this question I get asked this question a lot something to the effect of um, Big E how the heck can you follow all of this horrible stuff that's going on all around us and still be able to report the news in a positive upbeat positive I mean optimistic happy manner okay so I'm going to share a little bit of my um, mindset even though it is not mindset Monday um, a little bit about that I got some great stories to, to share with you uh, first of all um, I ran into a lovely family from Denmark uh, over at Dog Beach here and uh, they were telling me how they went through the Rockies and all over Whistler or Pembridge and I think they went to Lillooet, Lytton, uh, Kamloops over the Okanagan and down route so they, they had nothing but praise they had a, such an awesome time here in Canada in Vancouver and before they came here they went to New York and they described their experience there. And um, I don't want to like say any place is better than the other. Everyone loves New York. I, I like New York for 48 hours. I, I stay 72 hours in New York. I got a headache. Like, it's too much for me, you know. Or maybe it's because I'm just such a Zen West Coast guy. But uh, I like New York in short periods. Uh, I think they, maybe that's what happened to them. You know, what they felt was the vibe downtown there was like a lot of people, needy people, really wanting money and really being assertive. Um, some would say aggressive in how they went about it. <laughs> all right, thanks so much. Thanks so much, gals. We'll see you later. Oh, there. All right. Biggie! Woo! All right. Those ladies are awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, and so, yeah, and then they said when they came here in Vancouver, they really enjoy it. So, uh, about how no one's pushy, everyone's just kind and considerate. Now, of course, this is, uh, you know, this is the middle of summer. This is the best of times. This is when you see people at their best. 
Um, it, it, I like to see people at their worst. Oh my goodness, I'm taking all, all these Trump supporters online here. I wouldn't say all, but a handful. You know, I give them credit for um, going back and forth a little bit, but oh my goodness i mean this is the best that people this is the best people are behaving at i would hate to see people on their on their not best days <laughs> let's put it that way okay so how can we find strategies to manage this shit show that we're living in while still maintaining some sense of uh it's up to all of us collectively to make a difference in this world by being proactive and by being engaged in yes in politics in the community in the environment in things that matter to people we are very fortunate in british columbia we got a combination of the uh, green party and but mostly the uh, new democrats uh, socialist party green party what a what a collision made in heaven um and and you think you think the liberals would be standing up right now to the uh, federal gov federal liberals and the big business uh, and the oil and gas and all those people that want to drive a pipeline up our ass here no no if you ask anyone i hardly anybody here wants it this whole idea of, hey, Tina, this whole idea of is smoke and mirrors that 50% of people are for it, for against it. Vancouver, outside of Vancouver, most people are against, uh, are for the pipeline. That's BS, okay? All that is is Cambridge Analytic, Analytica metrics where they spend money on social media to uh, uh, spin a narrative and blanket the market, get people in, and then they capture that uh, polling at that exact same time so that they can show people, look, see, 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 okay? It doesn't work that way, okay? I'm on the ground. Just in the last few hours, do you know how many people I ran into? Um, okay, let's start out with Dijon. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. This is so cool. Um, this is a um, Saturday morning cereal pop-up. It's uh, a gal named Nina, and I believe her boyfriend Dijon, who I played ball with G2 and Dijon in the in the uh, Richmond Oval League. There, very good basketball league. Um, sa Saturday, August 11th, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Get this, folks. Um, all they do is serve cereal, okay? You got a picture of uh, Fred Flintstone and Bam Bam. Um, you got Yogi Bear and you got all these cereals. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is, look, it, it's gonna be a blast. So uh, what a cool idea. So get out there and support them. Um, it, oh, 1636 Venable Street. Um, so just out there near Commercial Drive, Saturday, August 11th, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday morning, cereal pop-up. Get your cereal, $5 a bowl. They got vegan options, gluten-friendly options available, uh, cash only, music by Wreckage. So they are got it going on, folks. They got music happening, it's gonna be a good one. Um, and then, uh, so on top of that, lovely family from Denmark. This is all the last few hours. Um, uh, Dijon Mustard, his girl, Nina, also saw two, not one, but two Mikes, little Mike Verney, um, and uh, of course, Mike, uh, uh, Wiener, who is a, a fellow World Champion Zen Master member, although not a world champion like me, but he is a Zen Masters member of our basketball squad. And um, Natalie, who I used to work at the YMCA, she's killing it over here on the west side, doing some uh, training now uh, in private sector. And Zach, this really cool black fella, young guy I met, um, Steve Nash Fitness, I'm gonna get a, give that a two week trial. And um, he did an incredible job, Zach, of convincing me that he should be on Big E TV. In fact, I have to say, I'm getting a lot of requests now. I'm gonna have lots and lots of new guests coming on the show, and I'm excited to see the influence and that the people are wanting to um, you know, use myself as a way to help uh, give you the Big E TV bump, baby. You know it. Okay, so let's, whew, that's a lot of people. That's like in the last two or three hours, all of those guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, I wanna have Zach on the show because Zach is a very interesting fella. Um, he was talking about some of the things that I think are most important, which is some, some of the uh, real um, things going on behind the scenes, artificial intelligence, uh, data accumulation, computer, supercomputers acquiring massive data on our behaviorals, our behaviors and our behavior changes. You know, these people know us no better than we know ourselves. And then it's a matter of just spending the money to get uh, out there to target your audience and get a shithole president like Donald Trump elected into office, okay? So we have to be aware of this. And so Zach, you're coming on the show as I, as, I, as I challenge you, we'll give you a chance to like think that through a little bit, but I want you to give your best um, uh, a take in a, in, a, in a way that people can all understand. Even, even though he's a history major up at UBC, he's obviously got some very interesting, um, uh, diverse uh, interests beyond that. So, Okay, so here we go. Let's dive deep, folks. Let's dive deep into this. This is going to be fun. Okay, MTDJ. 
I've got two terms this week, okay? We got the Machiavellian party re uh, replacing the Republicans in the states, okay? Um, if you want a little lesson on Machiav Machiavelli, we'll talk about that again. I've actually done a, a whole show dedicated just to Machiavelli and how the end justifies the means and how you can be as mean or rotten or nasty as someone as you want to be, but you're going to, um, uh, it's okay as long as you have like an outcome that is what you're trying to strive towards. That's basically the, uh, or you can be as corrupt or cheat or steal or kill Anything you got to do to, you know, achieve your means, achieve power, get in, get in power, keep power, all that sort of thing, and that's basically the Republican Party in a nutshell. Very sad to see what's happening here, but the good news is we got prime, we got the elections coming up here in three short months. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed because we know there's literally hundreds of millions of really good, decent people in America, and it's those other 100 million that are the jackasses that we got to like be able to just. Uh, talk to in a reasonable manner, engage with like I am doing. Do you think I enjoy spending these hours writing all this stupid stuff to people that are uh, climate change deniers or pro-gun advocates or you know all of the corporate one-liners that, 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 that the right-wing media has got them uh, brainwashed into repeating to make them sound intelligent? <laughs> We're gonna talk about some of these here on the show. Al White, what's up? Olga, oh my goodness. Okay, Olga, I am gonna take a shot at this. Berezovskaya, Olga Berezovskaya. It sounds like something Stephen Colbert would say. <laughs> hey, you guys, cool to have you on. Oh, June Khan, all right. Uh, speaking of which, oh, hey, and Finn, Finn Donnelly, what's up, you guys? Okay. Oh my goodness, it goes on and on. Brianna, Tammy, hey, you guys, thanks, Myra, thank you so much, sweetie. Okay, so uh, to repeat. How, Big E, people ask me, how can you follow all of this crap, all of this horrible stuff that's going on and still do it with a smile on your face, still do it in a happy, upbeat, positive, happy manner, okay? So here are some strategies to help manage this shit show that's going on, but at the same time, not get so turned off that you're not part of the solution uh, because what's happened right now is that, and I'm sure this is by social engineering design, is that so many of the good people in this world have all been scared away because all these icky people are on social media just like tearing at us. <laughs> and like, you know, so as a result, you know, they get these uh, less le lesser educated people that have these, uh, uh, you know, they care about, uh, I don't know, like not letting gay people get wedding cakes and, <laughs> and you know, um, the immigrants are going to steal our jobs, you know. They're worried about all this, all this peripheral stuff instead of staying focused on what matters, okay? Being kind to one each other, treating each other with respect, um, looking, at, uh, at looking at our world collectively, looking at our society. We're, only, we're as strong as our weakest link. When you have a strong... <laughs> Is that you, Tom? <laughs> uh, when, you, when you have a strong link, uh, when you have a, a, a strong underbelly of society where you're less fortunate to have a, a basic level of survival, we can walk around in peace and harmony and take a look around. Look at all these happy faces. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks a lot. See you later, Tom. Okay. Look at how happy um, people are here because we don't have guns in our society because our children don't walk to school in fear of their lives and stress and anxiety. <laughs> hey, man, what's going on? I like, the, I like the purple. Very nice. All right. Cheers. Um, where were we? I got... <laughs> It's so windy down here. My script just got blown away again. Here we go. Um, hang on, I'm gonna see if I can do something. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. But I love being outdoors. I love being in nature. I love being around people that I feel. Uh, I love being in a society. What's up, sir? You want to get on here, Facebook Live? No, no. I want to see how you do that. Oh, okay. How do I do that? This, this piece. You buy for you. Where you buy this piece? So these are comments I mean, that come in. No, these are people from all over no, the no, world no, no, here. This piece, how you buy it? Oh, this is a selfie stick. Yeah. Man, expect to be expect to be ridiculed. I have two of them. Believe me, young people are always laughing at me all the time. How did you work in here? How does it work there? Well, you just like you just like put it on your phone, okay? So. But what's under there? What's under where? Here. So turn around. Oh, nothing, uh, nothing, nothing. nothing. Oh, I just it just stick? sticks in there. And yeah, it works. Like yeah. Oh, it's right the stick. Yeah. Go to um. Go to like uh, Radio Shack or okay. Future Shop or something like that. That's nice. What's your name? Moshe. Moshe. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. Bye. You're looking good, Moshe. All right, all right. Stay, stay cool, brother. Okay, man. I am telling you, I am engaging with so many people today. It's, it's great. I love it. We're making a difference. I'm getting all kinds of people hitting me up. Want to be on the show now? Um, and uh, hey, Nick. Oh, how do you say that? N A I K. Nike Atwal. 
is watching now. Way to go. All right, right on. Okay, so number one, I'm going to talk about uh, falsities and what's true and what's false. Okay, I wish I had a eh. Okay, first thing, um, let's eliminate the negative things that we can control. Ding, 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 true, okay? If you, can, if you can take charge of something in your own life, I mean, first of all, if you're trying to manage all of the, all of the crap that's around, all around us, um, if you're not happy inside, if you're not happy with yourself, it doesn't matter all that other stuff. So don't even, you know, <laughs> turn, the, turn the off right now. Don't watch this and focus on yourself. Find inner peace, find inner happiness, find the confidence to be comfortable in your own skin. It all starts from within. Until you're happy with yourself, you're not gonna, and, and so focus on yourself first. So if you are if you feel like you're broken or you're not where you should be, get that stuff in order, get to be in a good place, and then these things will start making sense because now you have the confidence to move forward um, and to uh, in, engage in an everyday life, um, liking yourself, loving yourself. And when you do that, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, you've got lots and lots and lots of love and energy to give um, as, as I try to show it to you every day, six o'clock right here, Big E TV, Facebook Live. We're powered by values. And um, the next one is we should worry about what we can't control, okay? Um, the fear, the anxiety, the stress, the worry, all of these things, okay? Should we be worried about these? Eh, no, okay? Um, affect, you know, make the changes and make the changes in life that you can, that you know, what you can, that, that you can control. Uh, the things, let's recognize what we can't control and let's have the wisdom to know the difference. It's a very famous expression. I, I think I just butchered it, but I think it makes a lot of sense and that's what I'm trying to say with that point. Okay, next one. Um, let's think beyond ourselves, okay? Let's leave a legacy that's bigger than ourselves. So uh, for most people, they're, they're, they're in a very, um, you know, we talk about the, being the me generation, you know, and the millennials are in the me generation. Well, guess what, folks? Uh, generation X, they were the me generation. And baby boomers, they were the me generation. We live in a me society, okay? Uh, we, part of that is survival, you know, as human beings, it's, it's instinctive for us to survive. But this idea that we look after ourselves first, that's okay, that's very instinctive. In, uh, ritualistic and instinctive uh, instinct instinctual of us okay but at the same time um, let, why not think beyond ourselves our legacy our legacy should not just mean about passing some money down to your kids okay what kind of difference are you gonna make when you're at your funeral and people are asking uh, talking about you what kind of things are they gonna say uh, how many people are gonna show up what people are gonna show up who are the people that you touched in their lives what is the difference that you made you know what, what is gonna be your legacy yes of course we should think about that um, you know, I love to think uh, bigger than our, I love that when people think bigger than ourselves, and that's the only way we're going to get uh, back on track. Uh, let's face it, folks, right now, uh, the human existence, uh, human mankind, we're losing the battle, folks, okay? We're in the matrix, we're up against the machine, the machine are the, the few large corporations that are left in concert with liberals and conservatives here in Canada, with Democrats and Republicans in the states. The only solution is gonna be a la resistance, you know, this uh, socialist undercurrent that's gaining steam thanks to uh, um, Ocasio-Cortez there in the states um, and people like that. So um, next one I got is on social media, you should fight fire with fire. So all of these guys that are pro-Trump, that are uh, pro-big business, that are you know, uh, climate deniers, uh, we should just fight right back with them. And I say, no, eh, false. Okay, I believe me, I've no, I've been dealing with this, okay? You need to use reason, common sense. I do a little bit of chastising. Sometimes the best way to, um, you know, uh, make your point with, um, with some of these people who have this Machiavellian approach where they can just have no morals, no scruples, no consideration for others. They're mean, they're nasty. Um, they don't care because as far as they're concerned, uh, Donald Trump just lowered their taxes by $500 a year. And so um, that's the guy that they can, they can wrap their minds around, you know? This is the kind of world that we're living in. <clears throat> be happy, be healthy, uh, be confident. A confidence is driven from a healthy, happy body. Uh, I say like, you know, put me in the game coach, okay? So once you have worked on yourself, once you do love yourself, once you have that inner confidence, now you can share that inner confidence, you know, by being authentic and and being able to get in the game, okay? Get in the game. Let's not shy away on social media, okay, from these people. Let's not, anyone that doesn't agree with us, let's not immediately click the, the uh, unfriend button. Of course, I do that sometimes. Whenever it crosses a line where, okay, now you're just being ins insulting to my Muslim friends or my black friends or uh, my LGBT uh, uh, friends, 
Um, of course, if it gets to that point, then sometimes you got to cut them off. There's a couple that are on suspension, and you know, oh, there's one guy I took off, and now I brought back again. Uh, people like to be on my uh, on my uh, social sphere and Facebook, and I encourage that. And we've had some incredible uh, discussions about uh, global warming, climate change. Um, I don't use climate change because that's basically what corporations have wanted us to change global warming to, because global warming has an alarmist ring to it. Well, guess what? We have the hottest record on this earth ever on record. We got wildfires. We haven't even started the, the hurricane season yet. Tsunamis. We got earthquakes uh, happening. I mean, we've got all kinds of this stuff going on. I don't mean being to be an alarmist here, but the facts speak for themselves, okay? We are in a critical mass situation. Sound the alarm. Let's get on top of the environment. And the best way we can do that in the short term is right here in Brit beautiful British Columbia. Let's uh, stay strong with John Horgan, NDP, uh, Green Party, and um, let's make sure that, that we do not get that stupid pipeline in here. Okay, next one. Follow, follow a wide cross-section of different media, some mainstream, some not. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, warning, warning, warning. Okay, this is exactly, okay, the right wing, like the uh, these corporations spend billions of dollars to brainwash people into these talking points. And one of them I get consistently from conservatives, or I should say Machiavellians, is is the same thing over and over again. Oh, I follow a wide range of different uh, medias. I don't go for just the mainstream uh, uh, lame media like CNN. No, I, you, I look at some of the, I think Fox is probably the most fair and balanced, but uh, yeah, if you ask me, there's Breitbart and there's uh, all these reason and there's all of these wide diverse selections. Well, guess what, folks? <laughs> It's no secret that when someone says that to you, you know, they mean that they, they, they read a, watch a wide variety of propaganda that's all uh, directed around the same intent to be able to have stupid people re regurgitate their corporate uh, lines like that one. Okay, next one. Do what feels right uh, for you, okay? So I'm not trying to say that you should be outside of anyone that you're not comfortable with, but what I am saying is that our world is getting to the point where we need more uh, peace and love and happiness and goodwill out there. Treat one another with respect. You know, even to the point now where, like in the past, I used to see someone of a visible minority or something and just treat them just regularly because like that's what most people want to be treated like now I am I actually go out of my way to be extra super nice to for example the Chinese Canadians that are here in Kitsilano and Vancouver there's been a huge influx of uh, Asian uh, people coming in the west side of Vancouver so I go out of my way to make them feel extra welcome because I know that there's a lot of tensions that run high so many people complaining about how well the prices are out of control and now they like people like myself they outpriced me out of the community well guess what I just chose to sell my, sell my city home in Point Grey because I, I made money on it thanks to those people that came in I'm not gonna turn around and then point my finger at them that's the reason I made the money okay so you can't have your cake and eat it too okay we're gonna accept that yes there's things that we can do and we're trying people are governments are at different levels are trying to work on solutions um, but in the meantime let's be kind um, let's uh, let's realize that there's a lot of meanness out there and this is the best time of the year so if it's that's good this right now can you imagine what it's gonna be like when it gets dark and dreary here Okay, I think we're down to the last one here. Um, we live in a free and open democracy. <laughs> okay, now let's think about this for a second, okay? We have had competition laws on the books for years and decades where we know flat out that monopolies and, and oligopies are dangerous for society because then you can basically collude and price fix and, and do all of these things that are in the best interest of corporate profits but are not in the best interest of the consumer. Yet, if you look at both Canada and the US, this, this perception that we have democracy, um, both in both countries we've had two right-wing governments even though in Canada we're not as bad as the US you can you can believe and the Trans Mountain Pipeline is a perfect example of this you can believe that every um, everything that the, the liberals and the, and the and the progressive conservatives in Canada do have the best interest of large corporations in mind and in the states it's the same thing with not only the Republican uh, Machiavellian party, but also the uh, Democratic Party. Okay, these have all been hijacked. These are all in the pocket of big business because our system is corrupt. The only way that we're going to be able to get a solution, I think, uh, a, a pro. Uh, Proportionate representation is a step in the right direction, but ultimately we got to get big money out of politics. We got to have uh, very uh, small limits on on spending during campaigns, and we got to make the focus on the content and the substance behind people's voices. And we got to get our politicians to start having the same having the same expectations and standards that if we're going to have our closest 
friends and family where you're, they're trustworthy, they're honest. When they make a promise, they keep it. You never make a promise that you can't keep. And this is the same kind of, um, this is the same kind of values that we need to start holding our, our elected officials accountable for. And then we're gonna start seeing some real change going on in this world because if Big E has a say in things, you know it's going down, okay? <laughs> okay, so um, that's it for Wellness Wednesday, folks. Uh, join me tomorrow, Big E, Thirsty Thursday. I've got the Love Guru show coming up 5 p.m. Uh, if, if, if I get one of my gals on there, it'll be the Love Guru, Go Love Goddess show, of course. And then at 6 o'clock, it's the um, all-time world's greatest rock and roll council meeting, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific. And uh, until then, Big E from Big E TV. Uh, I'm back tomorrow. And until then, everybody, um, hey, welcome to August and have a great time. We'll see you over and out.